Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we are going to be building basically a desert mansion. So this video was all inspired just by one picture. I was just scrolling through the internet trying to see what I should build for today. And then I found this picture that basically inspired the whole backyard. And from the backyard, I was like, okay, well, this is going to be the basic shape of the house. And we just fold with it. So obviously it's not going to look exactly like how it looked in the picture. Right now, for example, you can see me struggling a lot with the foundation since in the picture there is a small area where they do have like different levels, not just the one level. But I wasn't really able to get it just because of Sims restrictions. But I was still going to go through with it and see how good of a job I could do in trying to get this backyard to look like the picture. I want to say that I succeeded. I at least think that it looked very similar to the picture, despite not having a lot of the same items, I guess you could call it. So for the backyard, there was especially one area towards the back that I wasn't too sure what exactly it was. At first, I was thinking, well, maybe it's a bar. And then I was thinking, well, but that looks like a barbecue. So for this build in particular, I personally ended up going for a barbecue. So I have not play tested this house, but I don't really see any area that should be an issue. So if you want to buy a very expensive desert home, I basically consider this a mansion, you're more than welcome to download this house. It is completely base game with the exception of the picnic table that's at the backyard. Besides that, it's all base game and nothing was really placed in an area where it shouldn't work, so you should have no issues with it. The steps even were something that I added because I wanted to add them. It's not something that you need. When you have a one level foundation, Sims can actually just go up and down anywhere they want. They don't need the stairs at all. Now typically, I tend to do the landscaping at the end, but since this house in particular had a bit of a hill and a lot of landscaping on the edge of the backyard, I decided to do the landscaping before moving on to the inside. So we're basically going to do the whole outside before we even start touching the inside. Now I know it's sometimes a lot to have all of this landscaping in there, but I just wanted you to see what actually goes on with the landscaping. And I guess with the whole creative process in this case. I did take a lot of liberties with this since there were things that we simply just couldn't replicate in Sims. So for example, I'm not sure if it was one big sliding door that they had in the backyard or if it was windows and a door. So I basically ended up having two doors towards the backyard. And when it comes to the rest of the building, I have absolutely no idea what it looked like. So I basically just went with something that I thought I would like. It's what my thought of how this house would have looked in general, basically. Here was the first part where I was like, oh, that really sucks. Because I couldn't get the stairs exactly where I wanted them to be. I was originally thinking of maybe having two bedrooms of stairs. And with the way the stairs ended up being, it ended up being just basically the whole master bedroom upstairs. But it ends up working out just fine. I actually am completely in love with this house. I've never really considered a house in the desert before. But if this was the house I was getting, let me tell you, I would live there in a heartbeat. Now the doors I chose for the house, I have very much in mind that that would be something like frosted glass. But again, that is not something that really exists in the Sims. So even though it's a door that has glass, just imagine that it's not or that it's at least frosted glass. Since I didn't want to have just a plain wooden door, for example, I just didn't think that it fit with this house in particular. As far as the front goes, I didn't really think it was going to be something super extravagant since I thought that Maybe the feature of this house is actually the backyard. So I kept it very simple on the front. I basically just put some cacti in the front and left it at that. Now, as far as the rest of the design goes, this is only a two-bedroom house. 
And I know that is ridiculous with how big the house is, but stick with me here because the bedrooms are pretty incredible. Now, for this area, I thought that it is supposed to be a desert, even though it's one of those green lots. I didn't really think it made a lot of sense for it to be that green. So I did end up just putting a lot of sand around and thought, well, at least it looks a bit more like a desert now. Now, as far as the inside goes, I wanted it to be a bit more, I guess you could call it minimalistic. I wanted this to be basically a showcase home or a house that was being prepared to take pictures to be sold. So, basically a showcase home. Now you can see here, this is pretty much the basic layout that we're gonna stick with. The only things that change is I ended up realizing that I did not have a guest bathroom and all the other bathrooms were basically en suites and I don't really think anybody would like having guests going through their bedroom just to be able to go to a bathroom so I did end up adding a bathroom for the guests later on and for the living room I imagine these being leather couches or maybe some softer material couches I really wanted a shaggy rug, but there isn't one in base game. So I decided for this one, which is very much a statement piece. So you'll see, as I mentioned earlier, I keep it more minimalistic. So there's not a lot of decorations, I guess you could call it. Not on kitchen countertops, not on the walls. So there's very few paintings that you're going to see here and there. But the ones that are... Placed. Some of them are even from debug, especially in the bedrooms. And the second bedroom, the one downstairs that I was working on just now, that one has my absolute favorite painting. It is so hard to find big paintings when you're trying to build a house with just base game. And let me tell you, that default painting is gorgeous. Now for the kitchen, I thought this is a pretty big house. It's basically a mansion, as I mentioned. So I thought it would be one of those houses that has like two fridges and two stoves. And I did consider two sinks, but I didn't really see anywhere where I could put one that would look decent enough, I guess you could call it. And I also considered putting a bar in, in this area, but it wasn't really fitting with the rest of the house. I guess I could have put it if I changed a bit of the layout, but I really like the layout that I had going on. So you'll see in just a minute that instead of going for a bar in general, I just end up putting liquor on on the wall basically. So there's not a bar area, but there is an area where you could store your liquor if you really wanted to. Now here's the part where I mentioned that I ended up adding the guest bathroom. And as far as the color palette goes, it is very neutral. I have no idea what the inside of the house looks like. I can show you again, but I have no idea what the inside of the house looks like. And I basically just went with what I thought it would be. And considering how clean the backyard was, there, there wasn't a lot of clutter basically, I imagine this being very minimalistic, very clean very showcase home kind of like a model home that is a painting that i was talking about i completely changed the idea of what i was going for for this bedroom once i saw that painting i i just absolutely love it and i do know why it is in debug since it is something that you get i believe through the microscope but those are the types of paintings that i believe should definitely be available for everyone to use without needing to use any cheats because a lot of people don't know how to use cheats so in case you didn't know what you need to do is you type in testing cheats on or testing cheats true either way it'll come through and then you do bb.show live edit objects and then bb.show hidden objects and with that you'll be able to get a lot of items that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise now, if you saw my previous video, you would have seen that I had a bit of a kerfuffle, I guess you could call it, with the wallpaper that I ended up putting in both of the bathrooms. It's called Urbanity, I believe it was. 
And I did not realize at the time that you could change the color of it. And I really do like how the texture looks, so I ended up putting it in the bathrooms in this house. And as far as the shower goes, I'm working on the master bathroom now, and you can tell how big it is. And it's really a shame that the only showers without the, the glass only came in the university pack. Since it was something that would have worked out great in this house, I really wanted to make a double shower since I was basically making double everything, but it wouldn't work any way that I put it unless I basically put it in the middle of the room. And I didn't really think that that made a lot of sense. So we ended up going with a giant tub and a single shower, and I even thought double toilets at one point, but again, the layout wasn't really going to allow much of that to happen. Now, for the master bedroom, it ended up being so big, and I kid you not, so big, that I had no idea what to put in it at first. But as I go on, you'll see that it's one of those master bedrooms where you actually walk into the wardrobe. And after you walk through the wardrobe is when you get to the bedroom. What I was completely in love with with this house is that I could use the giant rugs. They are amazing. I just love the color palettes that they have and the different options that you can actually have with them. And this house probably, ironically enough, has the most color I've ever put in a house. Since I typically go very black and white, in this house there's a lot of purples and blues and browns and orange. So I really had a lot of fun building this house. I originally thought, well, maybe I could build something with this picture as inspiration in about an hour. I think I ended up taking close to two hours and a half. But I don't regret it at all since I absolutely love the outcome. It is over a hundred thousand simoleons though, so again, I believe that this house just ends up being in the mansion category. But that is it on my end. I believe we are close to the screenshots by now. So let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you'd like me to try out next. And I hope to see you next weekend. Have a great one and thank you so much for watching.